hello, my name is Kira. Um, I don't really have an opening. Let's get into it. This is going to be uh, Season 3, Episode 2 of The Legend of Vox Machina. Um, I'm scared, I'm excited, I'm mostly scared because y'all made me scared with your comments. Um, I can't believe, I can't believe that I started watching this show when it dropped and then I stopped because I was so scared with the whole Percy thing and like possession thing. I was so scared by that that I was like, oh no, I, I like Percy though, so I can't keep watching. And then I picked up the show again to do a reaction series. I managed to get through it and Percy survived and it was great. And now they're like pulling this on me? Come on. I can't think of any particular thing you know, I've, I've done like terribly wrong in my life lately to, 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 to deserve this. Um, jeez. Um, as always, I do like talking. So there's my little, yeah. Let me be annoying, okay? I'm going to talk. I have opinions. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, just before I start, um, if you wouldn't mind, like, you know, dropping a like on the video. Um, it helps a lot because I'm a really small channel, so, you know, just everything helps and I appreciate it a lot. So, let's get going. Now, I do, I do apologize for the overlay. I know it's, I know it's annoying. It annoys me too. Um, YouTube was just being really harsh on uh, what I could upload. But again, this isn't like a, a bootleg channel, so um, unless you want me to have to get in here and spend a week editing to cut a, a nine seconds out of every video, I don't want to do that. Anyway, I don't want to do that, so, so you know, overlay. Okay. Percival. So he's right for the taking. Or no. Use him to give you thousands more to feed on. I have the vestiges. What? No. There. No. Awake at last. No. No, 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 no. Okay, I already hate this. I already hate this. I hate this so much already. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Please don't hurt him. Please. Oh, I forgot how creepy this fricker is. Don't hurt him. 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 Awake at last. Don't do that. My sincerest apologies, Percival. I'm sure you remember how eager Orthax can be. Don't touch Orthax. him. It has a name. You never bothered to ask. <laughs> Leave him alone. Oh, that was creepy. Yeah, I learned the name. I learned the name from you guys. That was handy. How are you managing to be sassy now, my man? Just, you know. Oh. I hate Anna Ripley because she just, she's, you know, she loves getting, like, down and personal when she hurts people. You know, like, when she was torturing Percy when he was a teenager and she was like, oh, I do love it when they hold out. And then she hurt him a lot. You know, it's like she wants to cause pain, but she wants to be the one to do it herself. And she wants to feel the blood on her hands. And I don't know. I think she's a really interesting villain. And I think that it'll be cool. It'll be, it'll be nice having, like, because they're definitely, they're definitely set up as foils, Percy and Ripley. Because um, he was unknowingly possessed by Orthax and um and then expelled him and she has welcomed him in but I I you know Yeah 
just because Ripley thinks that she's, like, on the good side of Orthax because she happens to be, like, friendly with him and she learned her name, doesn't mean that it's not going to end badly for her because Orthax proved with Percy that he doesn't care about his host. He's willing to hurt them. He, in the end, Orthax is all about Orthax. And just because Ripley is more evil and, I, I guess, like a little bit more accommodating to him, it doesn't mean that he won't string her out to dry when he gets what he wants. So, um, I don't know. I really don't like that. I really don't like the way that she clapped her teeth. That's freaky. And, um, that, that's really freaky. I don't like it. And yet I'm going to watch it again because, um... I'm sure you remember how <laughs> eager Orthax can be. Orthax? It has a name? Judging you the name. Bother to ask. We destroyed it. You left it a whisper. But that whisper found me. Bearing gifts. Beautiful, isn't it? Without your design, we never would have been able to upgrade it. Don't you dare pin your lunacy on me. Come now, Percy. Oh, honey. Take the compliment. No. And what exactly do you plan on doing with it? Oh, anime glasses. Shoot, I'm sorry. There's like so much in this scene already. <sighs> There's the guilt, right? Percy is just always wrecked with guilt. Like last time it was like, oh no, I, well, I brought the evil to Whitestone and now it's like, oh well, shoot, she, she made the pepper box now because of my design. I know that a lot of it is going to be because he feels a, a lot of guilt, but it's like, you know, he has the survivor's guilt and then the I accidentally killed Vex guild and and this, this he carries so much with him and that's what Vex was talking about last episode Percy cannot let stuff go he has to blame himself and I don't know if that's like a coping mechanism I worry about him physically and mentally so much this is the worst Like, for a pretty simple animation, they really managed to catch her, but, you know. He's scared, but I think he's scared. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just... Uh, Percy God. <laughs> dare pin your lunacy on me. Yeah, Come now, there, Percy. there's the fear. Take the compliment. And what exactly Bitch. do you plan on doing with it? And me. And, and what me. you should have done long ago. She is yeah. like super hot this season, though. Wide, that yeah. Wide world. Oh, let's not do that. Oh God, that was. Why did she have to get hot this season? God, why am I so gay? Okay, um, I can't. I can't play the opening um, just because of copyright things, but I have watched it, um, so. It is devastating. Can they please explain how they lost Percy? This he's he's like is a disaster. he's like six foot I tall. Knew we shouldn't have listened to Raishan. We had to try for the vestige. Wait, a vestige? If Percy is near the plate, maybe Mythcarver can see him. Uh, Scandlins run off to some bar. And he took go, go, my broom. Go go find how him. How will we find Percy? This place is bigger than a mom. The burglar, whoever shot at us, fled in a hurry. Maybe they left something behind. <sighs> Back to the archives. <sighs> oh, 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 that's cool. They came out with like a whole. I mean, okay. Maybe they didn't. That might just be a language that I don't recognize, but it's always really cool when like fantasy things actually come up with languages. Back to the archives. Already 
be searching for us. Well, for you. <laughs> I can take them. Those are the hand of Ord. You do not want to cross them, nor their master. Think they'd take kindly to a coquettish wink? <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, I've tried. Uh, come on, Sean. I know you carry more than just cologne in those robes. Surely you have some glorious distraction. I did not come back to Uncle El to get arrested. <sighs> oh my god. The twins are menaces to society. Let's make it quick in there. I love them. Your pepper box was a fine beginning. But imagine if there were a hundred. Oh, stop monologuing. More. That's chaos. That's equality. A weapon in the hand of every farm boy, every washmaid, every downtrodden soul in this kingdom and the next. You created something. Stay away from him. Revolutionary Percy. I have no interest in revolution. Your technology could overwhelm any force, no matter how powerful. No more victims, tyrants, conclaves. <sighs> you and Orthax seem. <sighs> Why? So I'm gonna guess that Ripley does really come from humble beginnings. And then can take out Conclave. So she was definitely just, yeah. I mean, I knew it, but she's just using Umbrasil because he was a really stupid dragon. I mean, it's true, guns will change everything, but... God. God, it's gotta suck to just be like, uh, it was a thing that came to me in my dreams because I wanted to avenge my murdered family members and then like, oh no, it's gonna spread across the globe and people are gonna be able to just shoot each other and it's gonna be great. Fantastic. Father of guns. It's just gonna mean that every time that someone kills each other and someone with a gun, he's gonna feel like personally responsible for it, which is something else that Percy doesn't need. He doesn't need more guilt over this. Oh my god. Let him not feel guilty about so something? Powerful. Maybe? No more victims. Tyrants. Conclaves. Yeah, because that's what it was when You and all <sighs> seem to have figured it out. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, because that, that's, that's what happened. When, when, when he spoke about the briar woods, he would start leaking out the smoke. And it's when she talks about inequality, it starts to start leaking out the smoke. Oh, God. They're going to, like, are they going to, like, they're going to, like, make her into, like, a really interesting character this season, aren't they? I hate it. I just want to be able to hate her. I just want to be able to hate her indiscriminately. Out. What do you need me for? Don't touch him. Wait. The vestiges. A power supply. Are they gonna have to end up working together? Definitely a pepper box. Powder residue. No mistake. It was a pepper box. Hmm. Footprints. And of course he didn't Set. he didn't tell came from over here. He didn't tell the Vex didn't enter the same way we did. He didn't tell Vex about Ripley they getting the... this window. Hmm? Acid. And look, it's oxidized in a pattern. That's Eridos acid. Used it in the clasp. Oh, I'm Vax. I was in a thieves' guild. I'm so cool. <laughs> <laughs> They're so cute. The twins are being so cute this season. They're being such siblings. Oh my god. Balls, no, it's us, it's us. This homecoming will be the death of me. Hope you've got some tour guide left in you. Where might a girl go for rare elemental acid? I know the place, unfortunately. Come on. 
Uh-oh. Serious with that. Twins are being so cute. Hey, that's my daughter up there. I know. Look too young to be a dad, but yeah. Hey, you gonna finish that? Aren't she like 69? Uh, he's gonna need a few more. Thank you! While I rest a second, the doctor's gonna take a solo. All right then. This next ditty is about a girl I met across the sea in Nicodronis. Well, it caught me by surprise when I looked into the Water over here? Oh, wow. I got this one. Mother fucker. I mean, yes. Orthax exactly. The inspiration. That plate can absorb fire. And the cloak? Cabal's ruin. It controls and redirects magic. They're both so bright. You combine like... them. Create an arcane factory. Powered by vestiges. You want to mass produce your weapons. Our weapons. Even if it could work. Would release untold violence into the world. Once the weak rise up, what's to stop the oppressed from becoming oppressors? That's why I need you, Percy. You understand Don't. humanity far more than I. Oh. My factory is inevitable. Don't no you 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 don't you get your mouth away from him. Just in general, I don't like the teeth snapping and he let me whisper in your ear. Oh my god, stop it. Stop it, stop, 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 stop. ew. Oh god. Um forget for, for forget that I said that she was being hot this season. I no, no. Taking it back. Taking it back. Taking it back. Taking it back. She kind of is, but I'm taking it back. Um That's interesting that she would say that like Percy knows people better than she does, because, you know. I mean, they really do get each other, you know? It's like they're, they're talking, and it's like they, they really do just kind of click, unfortunately. But it, I mean, that does have to do with them being foils. Um, but her idea that he understands people more than her... I'm, I, I don't think that Percy understands people more than she does. He just has more people in his life. Like, she, she's just only ever isolated herself. Really, unless she needed someone to fund her projects or to take advantage of, you know, Percy is not great at reading a room or anything like that. He's, you know, and when it comes to the idea of, of the what happens when the oppressed become the oppressors, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know the history of um, Exandria, but... Um, in this world, when the oppressed become the oppressors, um, the presence of guns and other weapons has not helped, but also, like, you know, it's, it's a really dumb argument, you know? It's like, ooh, no, we should definitely keep the oppressed oppressed, because otherwise it would be violent. And, and you know, I, I could go into, like, the whole, I mean... My favorite era of, of history to, you know, talk about and write about is the French Revolution. So, um, especially the early days of the French Revolution, so I could get, I could get a lot into that, but I don't, I don't know. This, this is just a weird conversation. And I, I, I need, I need her to stop looking like that. Stop looking at him like that. My factory is in Then, like, wouldn't it be better to be in control? Because then he would have. Because then at least he would have some control. As licked off my font. I'll see. I'm sorry about earlier. I just didn't believe me. No one does. Uh, that's not true. Keyleth, honey. It's fine. Well, I've got good news and bad news. Mostly bad for sure. 
The sales ledger has pages torn out. Looks like most of his inventory is gone too. Damn it. Percy could be dead by now and we have no idea where he is. We will think of something, sister. Oh. Oh. If we lose him, I... Oh. Oh. Oh, nah, you're good with kids. Kids love it when you die. Grog is emotionally intelligent. <laughs> He's like the most emotionally intelligent person in the group. The old basilica, northwest district, past the temple of Onyx, ten minutes away. Halt! Maybe fifty. You would have seen Maybe the seed of Mistress Asharu's manner. Surrender, or be taken by force. Crazy fellas, I, I know it seems bad, but we're not here to cause trouble. Uh, we're not. <laughs> you sound like us. You were warned. Run. Oh no. Yeah. Go. I'll catch up. Don't die. Oh, that's so sick. Actually, I was in town, but yeah. I, I mean, technically, we needed this item that might help save the world, but you were right up there. Of course. Please, You're my only family. Fine. I'll put my flute away. And when I come back, say your piece. Did you hear about the bacon at the archives? Someone got killed. Oh no. He's gonna have to run off before Kaylee comes back. Oh. Some people just know Sucks. Oh god. See you in a minute. Dude, Prime is already like 15 bucks a month. It doesn't need to be. Very disconcerting. It's <laughs> <laughs> the missing piece of the puzzle, isn't it? What does your smoke demon get from all this? You can ask them yourself when you're finished. <laughs> oh, but I already am. Your theory was correct, Dr. Ripley. What did you do? Magic and engineering, you can fashion an incredible power source. What did you do, Percy? Or incinerate a maniac. <gasps> oh my god, he broke the armor. You saw him with us. No, we need him. Oh, she's fighting bad too. Look, yes. The <gasps> plate. Damn it. She's got two vestiges. <gasps> oh, shit. I've got a... Come on. I went on him. I thought I lost you. <sighs> I'm here, Vatsalia. I'm fine. Where is she? Where? No, I did No! Ah, Vex, don't do that! No! no, no. Where'd she go? Kiki, 
It doesn't have to be this way, Percy. Find me when you're ready to accept. No, oh my god. Mike, a little help. Hold her still. Stay with me, Vex. Oh god. You saved me. Twice. What would you do without me? Oh my god. Stop. Percy, you dumbass. You should have told them that Ripley was buying black powder. I mean, you know, we knew he was being a dumbass in the moment, but then it just got worse. Although, like, you know, should have seen the coming that he was just gonna, like, blow her up. He's good at getting things to blow up. Mostly not on purpose, but, you know. God, what would you do without me? You saved me. Twice. What would you do without me? Vax. Vax's face. Vax. By order of their highness, Jamon Sahor, benevolent ruler of Ankharel, you are all under arrest. All right. What have you got to say? Uh, you know what? Okay, it's good. He didn't run off. Out in here. You mind if we walk and talk? What? I... Great, come on. <sighs> Boy. Okay, we're outside. Spill it. Huh? Oh, uh, right. I, uh, I liked oh. your song up there. Uh, are there words? You crossed an ocean to talk lyrics? I mean, if you need help, I'm really good at rhymes. <sighs> Truly a waste of time. I'm heading back. No, wait, wait. I I'm sorry, okay? I'm just, uh, nervous to talk to you. You. Nervous. Yeah, he's being sure. truthful. I, I mean, the truth is, when I'm on stage, I'm golden. Straight fire. But when the loot goes down, I kind of... I don't know who I am. And I'm supposed to help you figure it out. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, yes. This way. How you act towards who you love. Listen, uh... I think one more drink would really help me open up. <gasps> Ooh, do they have golems? If I hadn't gotten myself captured, we wouldn't. Oh be my here. God, the guilt, dude, yeah. my dear. You did break a decent amount of laws finding you. Reverence, the Emperor See, exactly. It's like, oh, just another thing for me to feel guilty about. It's just, he's, he's not, I, I'm not sure Percy is even doing it to, like, feel guilty i feel like he's doing it because he feels like he needs to be punished and he decides that guilt is the way he's going to punish himself at this point because of the the amount of things that he chooses to feel guilty about is just absurd like oh no i got myself captured well yeah it was ripley and the demon who possessed your practically your entire body and almost ate your soul. Like, I think that we can let that one go, okay? We've established that you're actually no match for this demon thing, unless you want to blow your other hand up. God bless Vex for just immediately being like, ah, but I got, I, I got some other news for you. She's so good at coming in with like a joke or like a punch to the arm or something like that to stop him from thinking. Percy just needs to stop thinking every once in a while. It would, it would solve a lot of problems. <laughs> also, who is this? Oh. Your Imperial Grace. 
There has been a grave misunderstanding. Why so many attractive characters this season? It has been decades since such a heinous crime has been committed in Ankarel. Vox Machina, you have been charged with royal theft and murder. Mistress Asharu was not only a mirror of the coast, she was my dear friend. It was Ripley! I beg your pardon. This psychotic scientist, she killed your friend, and she might be working with the Green Dragon, who's actually the one who sent us here, even though I said we probably shouldn't listen to her. And I'm not helping. I'm not helping, am I? Your Highness, please. We are innocent. Oh. Amongst your possessions were vestiges of divergence, just like the two missing from my archives. Were you not here to steal them? Uh Technically, yes, but we uh, failed. We'll, 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 we'll take the theft charges, want to lose the murder. Carrying a custom black powder weapon, the exact kind used in the crime. That alone is enough evidence to convict. However, if you confess, I may show lenience. No. Then I have no, no choice but to sentence all of Vox Machina. No, death. don't, 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 don't. Oh, my god. oh my god. No, Jesus Christ. I take full responsibility for the murder Shut up, Percy. Percy, shut up. Oh my god. true. We came to rob you. But my friends took no part in the murder. Please release them. I throw myself upon your mercy. Percy, shut up. He has lied through his teeth. Very well. You are all hereby banished from Ankarel. Prepare him for the transformation. What? No! Let him go! Percy! Back <sighs> Best part of the party, snooping in the bathroom. Ooh. Party fell. Not listening to your dentist. Make this sound of cares. Vex and Grog have always been. Like, for me, have been the two that I've always noticed have been very, very protective of Percy. And, like, Grog is the one. Grog, Grog and Vex are the two who, like, in season one, were able to, like, physically reach out and, like,. touch him to try to give like comfort i like that that's kind of been um i like that's kind of that it's kind of been consistent i wish that we'd gotten more um more of uh i i continually wish that we'd gotten more of um keyleth and, and percy though like those two have so much potential as characters, um, but I, I feel like they just, we didn't get a lot of, a lot of it. Anyway, uh, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Huh. Okay, where were we? Oh yeah, I just want to be in your wife, uh, life, and you just gotta tell me who, because like it or not, I'm your... Dad. Oh God. I, I mean, I mean, I'm your, I'm your, I'm your father. I'm, I'm your. How can I be so stupid? You know, for a second, I thought you came back because you actually cared. But I should have known a mess like you can't change. Go back to your pathetic little adventures and leave me alone. He killed a dragon. No, no, kid. Oh, ew. Please don't go. Oh God! Oh, Scanlan, you you gotta save Scandler. him, bud. You gotta save him. Scanlan, you're the only innocent one in the situation. No, 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 no! Don't. He's harmless and drunk. Oh, oh I was trying to talk to Kaylee, but you guys were in trouble. Please eat some saltines or something. Why I blew with her? Oh, Scanlan, I'm sorry. Uh, nobody gives a shit. They're going to kill Percy. Oh, wait. What? Don't die, don't die, don't die. Don't. You took a life. 
And while we will not take yours, we will transform it into something more honorable. No! Do you have any final words before you join my service? I do. But the ones I would want to hear them are absent. <sighs> Wait, what, 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 what was that? that, that? He saw what, some of who? Did he see all of them? Yes, he sees all of Fox and Argyra. Objection! Yes, Ace Attorney reference. Okay. Please save him. Damn, my timing is just... <laughs> Oh my god. What is the meaning of this? Your evidence? I have new eminence to present. You'll need my sword. Miss Carver. Yes! Look into the blade. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, Scanlan, thank you. Can't have you watching. So you were telling the truth. In light of this new evidence, the group known as Vox Machina is cleared of all charges. <laughs> oh, no. We thought we lost you there. <laughs> Oh, shit, Scanlon. I am so glad you found us. Thank you. Scanlon, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Your daughter would be proud of you. Oh, that's... You didn't need to take the blame. But I am to blame for what I made. Oh my god, Percy! You feeling guilty is not gonna stop what happened, okay? Vex was right. You need to let things go. Oh my god. You can't... You can't move forward when you're dragging so much stuff behind you. How are you supposed to take on new burdens when you have 20,000 of them already weighing down on your shoulders? You can't do this. You can't do this, bud. Like, you, you, you gotta be able to let it go. Sweetheart, you have to be able to let it go. You have to just... You made the pepper box, okay? You made it. So did Ripley. She had a... Pr she, she had one in her bag, so obviously you two... We're kind of working on the same kind of weapon at the same time, okay? She wasn't just inspired by you. She was wor working on her own stuff. And yeah, then she made a, a, a better one. But it's like, you know, you, you're, you're both... <sighs> this was going to happen with her without you. And you've tried your best. You gotta stop trying to use guilt as a way to atone. It's not how you atone. It's just, it's... That's not how you atone. Seriously, Vex does know how she feels, right? Like, I feel like Percy might still be a little bit in the in the I don't quite know how I feel category, but seriously, Vex, this is like, um... <sighs> Boy. Vax knows. Vax knows. 
Vax looks at them the way that Vex looked at Keyleth and and and, and Vax in the way that yeah that Vex looked at Keyleth and Vax in season one. <sighs> Carrying guilt is not a way to atone, Percy. You didn't need to take the blame. But I am to blame for what I made, for letting it loose in the world. For not telling you Ripley was tracking us. In okay, fact. that that was your fault. That was your Seeing fault. That, demon, that was my bad. Demon, no. Still alive. No, it's not your I'm demon. Ashamed. No. Of all else, I just didn't want you to see me that way. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. I'm sorry, Percy is just, he's my favorite character to like analyze. Um, and I'm happy the one I am if the online quiz or anything to go by. Um, Probably because it's like, hmm, who are you insanely attracted to? And I'm like, Vex! Oh, boy. Um, oh, God. Yes. You should have told them about the black powder. But that invention was something you made when you were just, like, spat out of the mouth of something awful. You were just a... I mean, I don't want to say a baby because he wasn't a baby, but it was like you were just a kid who had never had to suffer. Who had really never had to suffer. And all of a sudden you lost your entire family. You were tortured. You thought that you felt... You thought that Cass died when you tried to escape, that you failed to save her. And then, you know, and then you were washed up and, and hungry and, and homeless and suddenly had an idea for something that could help and it happened to be that a demon was taking advantage of you and you know what a lot of stuff would happen so yeah orthax would be interested in that his demon they take advantage of people You're talking to the woman who, out of everything, when Orthax was taking control, everybody else that season talked about the smoke, the smoke, the smoke, the smoke, what was emanating out of him. Vex was the one to say, take off the mask, because she wanted to see she wanted to see, she wanted to see Percy's face. She has seen you at your very, very worst. And she still just wanted you to come back. I get being embarrassed by that past life, but that's not a past life, but I, you know, I get, you know, being embarrassed by, by your mistakes, but honestly, you take it way too far. You take it way too far. You should have told them about Ripley in Vastelheim. Yes, that is very true. You were also trying to make it so that... Jesus Christ. He were also trying, uh, trying. Jesus Christ! They was. He, I mean, he was also trying to make it so that his problems didn't become the forefront again. Like he was like, okay, well, she's my problem, and I'm not gonna tell anybody else about it. It was your insistence on not being a problem and not sharing your problems that 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 made it a problem, you know. And that was because he was still carrying that guilt and didn't want to have to admit that something else bad was but was going on that something else bad was going on with him, and. It's, it's just, what? <sighs> it's just, yeah, he made the pepper box, but it is so hard to blame a child who had just been cast out into the world thinking that his entire family had been murdered, who then came up with an idea of like, oh, this would be a very good um, weapon that I could make that could actually work. Because like, as a noble, what else would Percy 
possibly have. Okay, he he wouldn't have access to like magic. He he wouldn't. You know, I guess he would have trained with uh, a sword, probably, but how is that supposed to defeat a vampire? He knew he was up against a vampire, so it was like, okay, how can I come up with something that could possibly defeat a vampire? Well, it has to be something new. And so the idea of the pepper box would just be a natural thing, especially when you're someone so bright and so, you know, clever and good at tinkering. The idea of something new to beat something that is nigh unbeatable. I'm not, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm really upset about his state of mind right now. <laughs> this is just not, this not, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. You stop talking. Stop talking like this. You're being nonsense. You're being nonsense. For what I made. No. For it loose in the world. <laughs> For not telling you Ripley was tracking us in Vasselheim. <laughs> Seeing that demon. My demon. It's not your demon. I was ashamed, and above all- uh, Although, seriously, what, what, what did I watch? Oh, it's Dead Boy Detectives when she's like, it's not my demon. <laughs> it's like wondering where I'd heard that exact phrase before. It's not your demon, darling. Obviously, the fact that it possessed someone else means that it's not your demon. It took advantage of you when you were at your most vulnerable. It's, it, it's, it's like, you know, it's like if a person had done something horrible to him during that time, you wouldn't be like, and and then that person, well, I mean, that person did kind of, show, I mean, Anna Ripley did kind of do terrible things to you at your most vulnerable time. She's not your person, but shoot, he did actually kind of do that, didn't he? The, the fact that he didn't tell them about her in Vasselheim, he, he made her his person, the same as he's made Orthax his demon like he is the only one who is allowed to deal with them because they're his god damn it percival god damn it percival else just didn't want you to see me that way she Shall never I did bring you what you want and what is it i want Been thinking long and hard about our options. What'd you come up with? Well, nothing. Oh, he, he's so sweet. Grog is so sweet. Sorry, I just gotta go back to this. That is so. Asking a person what you. Oh my god, what do I want? What, what do I want? God! Uh. Percy is just such a, he's such a satisfyingly complex character. All these characters are complex characters. He just particularly pulls at me. Um, again, maybe because apparently he's the character I'm most like. Um, but Christ, what do I want? He, do, he, he doesn't know what I want. He doesn't know what he wants. He doesn't know what he wants. Okay. But I am to blame. For, made, for letting it loose in the world. I hate this conversation. Why have I watched it like four times? Tracking us in Vasselheim. Seeing that demon, my demon, still alive. I was ashamed. And above all else, just didn't want you to see me that way. Honey, drowning in guilt will bring you what you want. Thank you, Vex. I want to drown in guilt. Right. Please, pull him out of there. Or just stare long and hard into each other's eyes. Grog, I love you. What options? Ripley got away with it. Without that vestige, we have no chance against Thordax fire. That would be true, if she had actually stolen the plate of the Dawn Mountain. Wait, what? I'm sorry? I have witnessed firsthand Thordax fury, and monitored his onslaught through Tal'Dorei. Grimly aware that he or someone allied with him may come for the plate. I did the only responsible. Is really hot monarch about to. The forgery, oh, but and she's brilliant well, too. Well, and can we, like, just borrow it? Give it to Pike. It proved difficult. I hid it in a place beyond even Thordak's reach. Are you familiar with the hells of Despa? 
Hells? As in Hells Hells? Not blood and demons and all that cool shit. <laughs> it's Halloween. Tell me you see The plate is with a demon called Xerxes Illares. Oh, do we have to, Do we have to involve demons again? So if we want the plate, we have to go to hell. Well, it caught me by surprise when I looked into the eyes of a girl so beautiful. Okay, I just need to turn off the music real quick. God. It, well, it definitely didn't feel like as much happened in the season in this episode because not as much did, but god, there was a lot to talk about, Jesus. Very glad that Percy didn't get changed into an evil thing. The, the ruler, whoever it is, is they're really hot. I'm, I'm glad because it was like, mm, God, Ripley this season. Whew. But then, then, then we got a, uh, then we got this, uh, this royalty. Okay, let me scoot back to the middle of the screen. Okay, so so that that was an episode that 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 happened. Um, that happened. Um, most of what I'm taking away from it is is yeah, just Percy's way of just like shouldering guilt, and I think just how that weighs him down and how it doesn't actually do any good. Like, um, I love that Percy and Vex want to spend more time with each other. Like, obviously, quality time, even when they're fighting dragons. Like, that's very sweet that they. Do want to spend that time together but um i always wish that that other conversation had been with vax um first of all because vax and percy i still feel like have a bit of a chasm between them um just because of the tomb and everything and also like vax can see the writing on the wall when it comes to where vax and percy are headed um and while I like, I, I just think that Vex is at the point where, you know, she don't want, she wants Percy to stop feeling guilty because she just wants him to feel better. And that's fine. You should feel that way about the people that you care about. Um, but the way that Percy is dealing with this guilt and just taking more and more on, um, I think that Vex might have been a better person to have that conversation with simply because Vex would be able to say, well, well, first of all, when Percy offered in season two, like, I can understand, I'm someone else who has carried darkness, and Vax was all, oh, I don't think any of you will be able to follow me. Well, Vax has kind of figured out his, his, his stuff now. He's kind of figured it out, right? So, I think Percy feeling bad about his demon coming back, Vax is in the more unique position of being able to understand that. Um... And I think that he'd also hold Percy way more accountable than Vex does, because Vex is just like, well, thank God Percy nearly died like six times today. I'm glad he's still here. We're just going to kind of stare at each other with the sunset in the background. Um, and I think that Vex would hold him more responsible, especially for like not telling them about Ripley, because he should have. He should have told them about Ripley and Vastelheim, but he, he just... He wanted to keep it his problem. He didn't want to burden the group, because... Percy has been trying to prove that he can still be part of the group for a while. And I don't know, I, feel, I, just, I, I just feel like that conversation would have gone down different, but I, I might have enjoyed, I might have not, not enjoyed it, but like, I, I might have gotten more out of it because it would have been Vax, who would be able to be hard on Percy for what he actually does wrong. Like, I think it's important to have a person who does actually say, this is what you did wrong. And I think Vax is, at this point, way more capable of doing that. Um, and also just the thing about carrying darkness, like, my demon. 
Vax has accepted his role. He might not still completely understand it, but he has accepted it. So... I think he'd be able to understand much better. And so... Obviously, I'm not, I'm not going to hate on, on, on Percy and, and Vex having time together, but I do hope that Percy and Vex do have a conversation at some point. I, I need Percy to be able to bounce those thoughts that are going around in his head off of somebody other than Vex, I think. Uh, other than Vex is, uh, is my point, I guess. But anyway, um, good episode. They're going to hell. Great. Um, as long as, uh, Anna Ripley doesn't, like, snap her teeth at Percy ever again, I can, I can take it. Okay, um, so again, uh, I'm Kira. I hope you're doing well wherever and whenever you are. Um, if you feel like dropping a like or subscribing, comment. I like comments. Um, I like talking with people. <sighs> and I will, uh, I'll, I will see you again. I'll see you again soon. Bye.